was good cuz welcome back to the channel and today I'm bringing you guys another NFL predictions video for the 2021 2022 season um, we're gonna be doing the AFC side today so we're starting with the AFC North division who will be winning the AFC North will it be the Steelers the Ravens the Browns or the Bengals leave a comment down below for who you guys think will be winning the division and as always if you guys are excited for the video please do me a favor and hit that like button try and hit 25 likes on the video and if you guys could if you're not already subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it trying to hit 700 subscribers we might even be at it by the time you guys are watching this video but without further ado i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it minica watch me on twitch oh i'm streaming i'm on youtube subscribe to the channel red button beaming let's get that sub count take over youtube oh we teaming my content so high oh yeah i'm steaming oh yeah i'm steaming red button beaming Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Another predictions video. Let's get it. It's AFC time. This is our first AFC division that we will be making predictions for for the 2021-2022 season. As always, these are not 100% correct predictions. Obviously, I'm going to get games wrong. If I pick your favorite team to finish lower than you expect, do not hate me in the comments. I'm not a professional NFL picker when it comes to these games so don't hate on me in the comments obviously i'm not going to be 100 right obviously these are also way too early predictions as well the draft has not happened yet free agency is not over the trades for the season are not over we still have a, a bunch of months left until the beginning of the next nfl season so we will redo these predictions videos as we get closer to the nfl season probably in august again and then we will check it over after the season's done see what we got wrong see what we got right but without further ado we're hopping into the afc north first team up we got the baltimore ravens Okay, you guys know the deal. Baltimore Ravens time throwing the schedule on the screen for you guys. And obviously, they have their quarterback in Lamar Jackson. Not a lot of question marks in the AFC North division. The only question mark probably being, you know, is Joe Burrow 100% healthy for next season? That's going to be to be determined. Looks like he's coming back week four. But let's get started with the Baltimore Ravens. Best AFC division, in my opinion, right here. So we have them uh, playing Cincinnati. Again, Joe Burrow is not going to be in until probably week four. So if they get this matchup early in the year. This will probably be an easy win for the Ravens. So I'm going to give them the win against the Bengals. And they play the Browns pretty well. The Browns and the Ravens. The Browns look good last year. The Ravens usually handle them pretty easily. But last year, they gave them a run for money. Two really good games. Probably the best game of the year last year. Late in the season on Monday Night Football. Ravens, Cleveland. That was a great game. Um, the Ravens winded up squeaking past the Browns in that one late in the game. But that was a very good game. And I'm going to say Cleveland the Ravens are probably going to split this year. So I'm going to give the Ravens a win in Baltimore start off 2-0 and Cleveland will probably get the win back when we get back to Cleveland but we'll get to that in a second we have them hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers um, and I think they'll probably split with the Steelers as well they have Big Ben coming back so they don't have a question mark at their quarterback position they'll have a quarterback probably in the next year who's going to be their quarterback I say Big Ben's probably got one year left um, they probably will lose Juju in free agency but their defense is the reason why they were so good last year so it's the reason I think they're going to be so good again this year but I'm going to give the Ravens the win in Baltimore against the Steelers start off 3-0 then we got the Ravens hosting the Chiefs for, I think, the third straight year. They're going to be playing these two teams. And I'm going to say the Chiefs are going to win this one, even with them cutting their two good uh, offensive linemen and Eric Fisher and Mitchell Schwartz. We're going to see what the Chiefs do, you know, on the offensive line this year. Are they going to get somebody in the draft? Are they going to trade for somebody? Are they going to get somebody in free agency? Those are question marks for the Chiefs, but they handle the Ravens every time they play them recently. So I think Patrick Mahomes is just better than Lamar Jackson. The Chiefs just have the Ravens number. So I'm giving the Chiefs a win. And the hot Chargers with Justin Herbert, I think they're going to be a very underrated team next year. I could see them honestly squeaking into the playoffs next year, but I'm going to give the Ravens defense the win here over the Chargers offense. Um, we'll see what that new coaching staff though in LA looks like next year. I think they're going to be a very fun team to watch, and I love Justin Herbert. The guy is a stud. It's going to be a fun time to watch him play football for the next 15 to 20 years, but I'm going to give the Ravens a win there, and they're going to get a loss against the Green Bay Packers. Um, I don't have to say much there. I think the Packers are just a better team. Aaron Rodgers is, is uh, coming off an MVP season. I think he'll be very good again next year and I think the Packers will win even in Baltimore so they'll be four and two and then they play host to the Minnesota Vikings as well Vikings are a decent team but let's see what they get on the defensive side of the ball will they get a pass rusher in the draft will they get somebody to help out that secondary they need some help on defense their offense is obviously very good with Dalvin Cook Justin Jefferson Adam Thielen uh, but they need defense that's how they're going to beat Lamar Jackson I just don't think they're going to get somebody to get in his face rush the passer and really get him off his game so I think that the Ravens will be able to run the ball enough to beat the Vikings so I'm going to give them five 
five and two. So we have a rematch of a game that happened last year, and this time it's in Baltimore. We have Colts versus Ravens, and the Colts defense gave Lamar some tough time, at least in the first half of that Colts game. Um, and now they have Carson Wentz, I think a quarterback who's better than Phillip Rivers, and I think their defense, you know, playing together another year will um, honestly be able to beat the Ravens here. So I'm going to give the Ravens a loss. This is probably a 50-50 game. Could happen either way, but I'm going to say Carson Wentz gets enough done on offense to beat Lamar Jackson. Lamar maybe makes a mistake or two here and there, and I'm going to give the win to the Indianapolis Colts, make the Ravens 5-3, and three, but I'm going to give them the win against the Chicago Bears, unless they get Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson, as it stands right now, with Trubisky or Foles starting. I think that they're not going to be good offensively. They're losing Allen Robinson, their best receiver, so the Chicago offense is going to need you know some big improvements over the offseason, which I don't think they're going to get. They don't have a great draft pick, so they won't be drafting a good quarterback, so they really have to see if they get Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson in a trade, but if not, I think the Ravens will probably win this one pretty easily. That defense in Chicago is obviously pretty good, but I think the Ravens offense and their defense just better. They're just a better overall football team. I'm giving the Ravens another win against Cincinnati. I'm, I'm giving them the sweep over Cincinnati this year. It's going to be tough for Cincinnati, even with Joe Burrow, when he does come back from that ACL injury. I think they're just going to be the worst team in the division um, just because the other three teams are just very good and they still have ways to go. That doesn't mean that the Bengals won't be good in future years. They have a very good young team. I like a lot of pieces there. Um, we'll get to Cincinnati when we get to them, but I think the other three teams in the division are just better. So I'm giving the Ravens a sweep over the Bengals, make them 7-3. and three. I said they'll split with the Browns. That'll make them 7-4. and four. They're going to Denver. I don't like Drew Locke, and I don't think they're going to be drafting a quarterback if they draft somebody and he turns out to be good, like Trey Lance or something like that in Denver. Then maybe we could have a conversation because I like their defense in Denver. It's always a good home field advantage going to Denver for the Broncos at high altitude. Um, but their defense is getting a little bit older. Von Miller is getting another year older. So, you know, we'll see what happens with them. But I'm going to give the Ravens the win there. So that makes them 8-4 and four right now with four games to go. They are a playoff team as it stands right now. They have a win against the Lions because nothing said there. The Lions are not going to be a good team next year. They're going to be one of the worst five teams, in my opinion, in the league, losing Kenny Galladay. Lost their quarterback at Matthew Stafford. Jared Goff is, you know, a suitable quarterback. He'll be okay, but with no pieces, no weapons, he probably won't be that good. They need help on defense. It's going to be a rebuilding process for them, uh, Lions fans. So it's going to be an easy win for the Ravens. They'll be 9-4. and four. The Dolphins' defense played ridiculously well last year, and they're going to Miami. So honestly, we'll see what Tua can do. Can Tua have another... Um and then, you know, make another step in the right direction next year because he didn't play too well this year. Um, so people are saying for them to move off and draft another quarterback, you know, in the draft, but I don't think they're going to go that route. I think they're going to take, you know, a playmaker, whether it be Kyle Pitts, the tight end who can play receiver too at the same time. He's just an absolute beast. You know, Jamar Chase, it looks like they might be getting in some mock drafts. So if they get a weapon for Tua, we'll see what he could do with that piece because he needs some weapons there in Miami, but that defense is very good. As of right now, I'm going to give the win to the Dolphins. Um, Ravens fans, you might hate on me for that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ravens win this game. Would be another 50-50 game, in my opinion. I think they could win it, but I'm going to give the Dolphins a win just for the home field and their defense. Okay, two games left, and the Ravens are 9-5, and five, so they're most likely going to be a playoff team as long as they win one game. And if they lose both, maybe they'll still get in if they have seven spots in the playoffs again this year, but I think they'll beat the Vegas Raiders. I don't really have much in-depth on that one. I think the Raiders' defense has a lot of work to do. Derek Carr is a very decent quarterback. I say he's probably in the middle of the pack of the quarterbacks in the league. But I think the Ravens' offense with running the ball and the way they want to play. They'll keep it out of his hands. The defense can't stop anybody as we saw last year. We'll see if they make any improvements in the draft, but I think they're going to win against the Raiders, so that makes the Ravens 10 and 5, and like I said, they will split with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Could they sweep them? Could they lose both games to the Steelers? It's possible too, but I'm going to give them the win here, so that makes the Ravens overall for the season 10 and 6. Up next, we're going to do the Cincinnati Bengals, like I said, in the Ravens one. I think they're going to be the worst team in the division. That doesn't mean they're going to be the, one of the worst teams in the league. They just happen to have, you know, a really tough division. It's difficult for them to win a lot of games when you have to play the Steelers twice a year, the Ravens twice a year, and the Browns twice a year. So with that being said, let's take a look at their schedule. And right off the bat, they're going up against the Ravens. And like I said, they're going to get swept by the Ravens. So that's going to be a loss for them. They're going to Chicago. That's going to be a tough game. That's a good defense there in Chicago. But I'm going to give the win to to the Cincinnati Bengals, their offensive firepower, if they have Joe Burrow back, him, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, um, Joe Mixon, they have enough pieces on offense to win this game. If their defense, who's low-key not bad, and they have a very good secondary, very good safety in Jesse Bates, 
If they play well defensively and just, you know, score a decent amount of points, I could see them upsetting the Bears here if you consider it an upset, um, which will, the Bears will probably be favored since it's in Chicago. I'm going to give the uh, the Cincinnati Bengals, excuse me, their first upset win of the year. So that's going to make them 1-1. One and one. They're going to lose to the Ravens. Like I said, they're going to get swept, so that's 1-2. and two. They're hosting the Cleveland Browns, and the Browns and the Bengals had two good games last year. Um... You know, they honestly almost beat Cleveland in Cleveland. I think it was like a Thursday night game very early in the season. Joe Burrow played very well, but the Browns are going to be a very good team next year. It's going to be tough. I'm going to give them the loss. I'm probably going to have them being swept by the Browns as well. The Browns are looking for an improvement. They got Miles Garrett, who's an absolute beast on that line. Going to be in Joe Burrow's face. Don't know if they're going to get Odell back there in Cleveland, but it doesn't really matter. They play well without him. We'll see what they do in the draft. They really need to go get like a linebacker or somebody in the secondary to help them out. They have a good defensive line. Um, they have Nick Chubb. Good. Uh, they have good running backs, Kareem Hunt as well. So Cleveland's going to be a good team next year. This division is very, very tough. But again, loss for the Bengals there against Cleveland makes so them one, one and three, three to start the season for the Cincinnati Bengals. And now they're going to host the Pittsburgh Steelers, who they beat at home last year late in the season. People, that was a big upset game. Pittsburgh Steelers were a very big favorite to win that game. Um, but if they play early in the season, I think the Steelers will probably win this one as long as Big Ben has some rest and he just game manages this one. I think the defense could get it done. That's part of the reason. They lost that game. Turnovers. Big Ben just not playing well. Can't get the ball down the field. If he has some rest and can you know throw the deep ball a little bit, they could win this game. So I'm going to give the win to the Steelers. Make them one and four. They are not playing. Uh, they are not beating the Kansas City Chiefs. Excuse me. So that's going to be one and five for the Cincinnati Bengals. The Chargers versus the Bengals. That's going to be a good game. You have two guys. Hopefully they play when Joe Burrow is healthy. So you get Burrow against Herbert. But I think the Chargers are a better overall team. Even in Cincinnati, I'm giving the Chargers the win here. Gonna make them one and six. They have a tough uh, the AFC North are playing two tough divisions this year in the NFC North and the uh, AFC West. So you have to play the Chiefs you have to play the Chargers, you gotta play the Packers you gotta play a lot of very good teams. So it's gonna be tough. They're gonna lose to the Packers as well. That's gonna make them one and seven. I promise the second half though looks a little bit easier. They're gonna pick it up. They get a game against the Vikings which I think is very winnable for them. Like I said Vikings offense is good but their defense is not so good. I think Joe Burrow could have a game against them and I think their defense can make enough plays to honestly stay this game from the Vikings. So I'm going to give them a win. You get Trevor Lawrence against Joe Burrow. You got number one pick versus number one pick. You got Trevor Lawrence. You got Joe Burrow, LSU, Alabama, uh, not Alabama, excuse me, Clemson, LSU, National Championship game rematch, but now in the NFL. And I'm giving the win to Joe Burrow. I think the Cincinnati Bengals are a better team than the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Trevor Lawrence in the future could be better than Joe Burrow, but as of right now, I think the Bengals are a better team than the Jaguars as constructed. So I'm giving them the win. So that's a two win streak right there for them. I'm going to give them a loss to the Browns. I'm going to have them get swept this year. Sorry about that, but I think next year or two years from now, they'll give the Browns a very good run for their money, but I think the Browns are going to be a better team than the Bengals next year. So three and eight, five games to go. You have a lot of good games here. They have a lot of potential wins here, and it starts with the Denver Broncos, and I'm giving the Cincinnati Bengals the win against Denver. Don't think Denver is going to be very good next year. That's just my gut instinct for some reason. I feel like they might be the worst team in the AFC West next year. Their defense is okay, but their offense is not very good. Don't love Drew Locke, like I said before. Give the Bengals the win there, making them four and eight. You have them playing the Lions. I'm giving Lions this is the loss against basically everybody I've predicted so far uh, this year. So I'm giving the Bengals the win here too. I think the Lions are going to be very, very bad next year. So I'm giving them the win there. Against the New York Jets, you're five and eight. You're playing the Jets. Will they have Zach Wilson? Will they have Sam Darnold? Will they get an offensive piece? Jets have a lot of question marks. It's going to be tough to decide who will win this game. But I'm giving it to the Bengals. Don't know who the Jets are going to have a quarterback next year. Don't know if they're getting any offensive weapons. I have no idea what they're going to do in the draft. When we do these predictions videos, you know, later down the road, closer to the season, we'll have a better idea about this game. But right now, I'm giving it to the Bengals. And I'm ending it off with two straight losses against the Raiders and against the Steelers. Make the Bengals overall 6-10. and 10. All right, now it's time for the Cleveland Browns, who ended the season on a very, very high note. Almost beat the Chiefs in the AFC Divisional Round. Could have went to the AFC Championship to play Buffalo. They were very, very close this team is an up-and-coming team, but next year it might be the coming-out party for the Cleveland Browns. Could be the year they steal a division for the AFC North. First time in a long time. Baker Mayfield had those boys playing. The defense was playing well. They ended the season on a very, very high note. Beat the Steelers in the playoffs. Let's see what they have this year. They're going up against the Ravens. Like I said, they're going to split with the Ravens, so they're getting a loss to start, but they're going to get that win back eventually. They're beating the Bengals, they're beating the Ravens, and they're sweeping the Bengals, so they're 3-1 and one to start here. They're playing the Steelers, and we're having 
having them split with them as well. They beat them in the playoffs. They beat them in the regular season last year. Think they're finally over that curse of not being the Pittsburgh Steelers and Big Ben. Think they're going to split with them probably. So I'm giving them the win. Uh, the Browns start off 4-1. and one. All right, 4-1 and one for the Browns. That's pretty crazy to start off the year. And it looks like this schedule is not too bad. You're going up against the Broncos up next, who I don't like, as you guys can't tell already. I do not like the Broncos. Don't think they're a good team. And I think they're coming to Cleveland. I think the Browns are winning this game. I feel like the Browns will lose probably one game they're expected to win some point in here. They're not going to win every game they're favorited. That's just the Cleveland way. That sometimes it happens that way. Cleveland fans, I'm sure you know, sometimes you guys lose games that you're expected to win, and that, that happens with a lot of teams. But I think you're going to beat the Broncos. This is where I think you might lose it. A very close game you guys had last year with the Raiders, and I really want to see what the Raiders do in the draft. They couldn't stop anybody on defense. If they can, their offense can compete with the Cleveland Browns offense, and I think that the Raiders could steal this game from the Browns make the Browns what is it five and three to start the season um, but still a very good record to start off here excuse me I apologize I said five and three for the Browns it's five and two we're seven weeks in and they're getting a win against the Bears win against the Lions making them seven and two and they get the Houston Texans that's the first team in this division that's gonna get Houston without the Sean Watson and that has a win all over it you got two bad teams in the Lions and the Texans you're getting both of them this year you're getting two wins those are two wins you need to have because those could be the difference in winning the division. Think you beat the Bears. I think your offense is better. And I think your defense is almost about the same. If you get some help in the secondary at the linebacker position next year. Think you can compete with the Bears. I think you can beat the Bears. Unless they get to Sean or Russell Wilson. See you guys winning that. So that's a win against the Bears. Win against the Lions. Win against the Texans. You guys are 8-2. and two, Six games to go. So we will have some losses coming in now. Because you got to play the Packers. And you got to play the Chiefs. But you're not losing against both of them. I predicted in my NFC North videos. A little bit of an upset. Because you got to go to Green Bay. I gave the Browns the win against the Green Bay Packers. Make some 9-2. and two. I don't know why. That's just my gut instinct. Think you're going to win a game that you're expected to lose because I said you're going to lose when you're expected to win. Think you're going to win your one you're expected to lose and I think this one is it. Think the Browns will catch the Packers off guard just for some reason. Think that'll be one of the better games that they play of the season. The run game might be too much for those Green Bay Packers who couldn't stop the run too much last year. You got Chubb. You got Hunt. I think you guys can have a good game against them. I think you could beat the Packers, but you're not going to beat the Chiefs even though you almost beat them in the AFC Divisional around think they're gonna have your number this year and they're really gonna look to dominate you guys after that close game in the playoffs last year giving you guys a loss against the Chiefs that's 10 and 3 you're going to the Los Angeles Chargers and I'm giving the Chargers a win I like the Chargers a lot next year I think Justin Herbert's probably better than Baker Mayfield even though Baker Mayfield I do like I think he's in probably the top half of the quarterback I think Justin Herbert should be too good Keenan Allen I really really like who's gonna stop him is it gonna be Denzel Ward don't really know but I think that LA offense is gonna be too good let's see what their new coaching staff does as long as they don't choke games Games. They were winning a lot of games at halftime last year, the Chargers, and I think they're going to win this one in LA, hosting the Cleveland Browns. So right now, the Browns are 9-4 and four with three games to go. All right, Browns fans, so you guys are 9-4 and four with three games to go in the regular season. You got the Vikings, you got the Patriots, and the Steelers. And I think you guys are going to go 2-1 and one here, and I said you already lose to the Steelers in the split. So I'm giving you guys a loss against Pittsburgh. That's going to make you 9-5, and five, but I think you beat the Vikings pretty easily. You have a better offense than them, and you have a better defense than them. So I think you're going to get the win there. The Patriots game is going to be, um, you know, a pretty close one. It's going to be a 50-50 game. You guys are going to be probably predicted to win even in Foxborough. We'll see what they look like next year. But Bill Belichick, the master at scheming, the master at game planning, could decide to take away the run game, put the ball in Baker Mayfield's hands, and can he win the game? That's going to be the decision. He is going to try to stop Nick Chubb and stop Kareem Hunt and try to, you know, make Baker Mayfield beat you guys in the past. So it's going to be a tough game. Could be a 50-50 one, but that's going to be the difference between you guys finishing 11-5 and 10-6. and As of right now, I'm giving you guys the win. So the Cleveland Browns will finish 11 and 5. All right, last but not least, the final team in the AFC North are the AFC North champions from 2020, and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers, who ended the season last year on a very, very down note. You guys start off, I think, it was either 10 and 0, 11 and 0, and lost like three or four games left in the season, and lost the playoff game when you hosted the Cleveland Browns. So you did not end the season the way you guys hope. Can you bounce back this year? You're bringing back Big Ben. Probably gonna lose Juju, but you got Micah Fitzpatrick, you got TJ Watt on the defensive side of the ball, got a lot of good players on defense, so that's the reason you guys are going to win a lot of games. Still have Chase Claypool, though. Still got James Washington. Still got... Uh, Deontay Johnson, so you still got some pieces. Maybe you pick up somebody in the run game, hopefully in the draft. That's really what you guys need because James Conner couldn't really run the ball too well last year. But let's start off with the schedule. You're going to Baltimore, and you're going to lose that game. As we said already, you guys are splitting. You're going to Buffalo. You're also going to lose that game. I think you, you guys lost them at the end of the season last season. 
and you're going to lose to them again. Their offense is just better than yours, and the defense are pretty much, uh, I'd say the Steelers have a little bit of an edge there, but I think Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs will just get your guys' number once again. think they will beat you guys, so you're going to start off 0-2. Now we have the Cincinnati Bengals, and you guys are going to Cincinnati, and I said I'm picking Cincinnati in the upset here. They beat you guys last year. I say they're going to do it again. They start off 0-3. You're splitting with the Browns. So you got another loss. That's 0-4, and, and you're not beating Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. You're going to go 0-5 to start. Oh, man, I didn't even check. You got the Chiefs up. Wow, this Steelers schedule is probably one of the hardest schedules definitely in the league. You got to play all the first uh, teams in the a in the AFC, obviously, and you got to get the Packers as well. This is going to be a tough schedule. You're not beating the Packers, and you're not beating the Chiefs. You just don't have the offensive firepower to beat either of those teams. You do have a good defense, but I don't think you're going to slow either of them down unless you possibly get pressure on Patrick Mahomes like Tampa Bay did you know, in the Super Bowl, but you got to show pressure without blitzing or else Patrick Mahomes will pick you apart. You don't even know if they're going to have offensive linemen next year but I'm picking the Chiefs to win that game 100% so they're starting off 0-6 the Pittsburgh Steelers that is crazy they will pick up some wins later in the season but right now 0-6 all right up next you have the Los Angeles Chargers and I think your defense will win you this game so I'm going to give you the first win of the season against the Chargers you're going to be 1-6 I think you're going to do the same things to the Vikings that offense is really what helps the Vikings win games and their defense is not good so I think Big Ben and the offense could get it done against them they're going to get a win there so you're going to be 2-6 you're splitting with the Ravens you're splitting with the Bengals and you're splitting Splitting with the Browns. You got a three uh, wins right there from all division opponents. So you're back at five and six. You lost six in a row, but you won five in a row. And obviously, we don't have the weeks of when these games are going to take place yet. It's still too early, so we don't know. But um, you know, you know, you went on a six loss streak, and then you went on a five win streak. So you're back. You're five and six. You can still make the playoffs. If you go ten and six, you go nine and seven. You have the Broncos up next, who I obviously don't like. You're going to go six and six. I think that your defense is going to be too much for Drew Locke. He's not going to beat you guys. You're going to go six and six there. You're going to beat the Raiders, who whose offense is good, but if you could stop him on defense, uh, I think their defense is so bad in Las Vegas that the Pittsburgh offense will be able to capitalize on the Vegas mistakes on offense and win this game as well. So you guys are 7-6, seven and six, a 7 win streak. Now you're going to Chicago. Uh, no, you're not going to Chicago. You're having Chicago come to you guys, and this one's going to be tough because it's defense against defense, which two okay offenses, pretty mediocre, uh, if I'm being honest. But I think that the difference will be is that the Pittsburgh offense is a little bit better. Pittsburgh offense will have receivers and Chase Claypool, Deontay Johnson, James Washington. Um, the Bears will not have Allen Robinson again next year, so there's a difference there. They do have Montgomery, though, but you guys have James Conner. I say that pretty much even with Montgomery being a little bit better. He had a better end to last season, but 10 weeks into the season, the Bears were one of the worst running teams in the whole league. So it's going to be a close one there, but I'm giving the win to the Steelers. You guys are 8-6, and six, an 8-game win streak, and you got the Lions up next, who the Lions are one of the worst teams in the league, and I'm giving you guys the win there so you're nine and six and then you're hosting the titans where i think you get a loss derrick henry ryan Tannehill. i think they beat you guys and i think the pittsburgh steelers end the season nine and seven Ladies and gentlemen, now let's recap the AFC North standings before we end the video. So in last place, we have the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back as early as possible, but the Bengals will still finish in last place. In third place, we have the AFC North champions from 2020. The Pittsburgh Steelers will not repeat this year. In second place, we have the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson, who will have a good season, but not as good as this first place team. We have the Cleveland. Browns finishing atop the AFC North for the first time in a long time. Okay, everybody, that's going to do it for the AFC North predictions for 2021-2022. Like I said, we will be redoing these predictions once the draft happens, once trades happen, once free agency is over, um, probably around August time before the season starts. So these are not 100% accurate predictions of what I'm going to be doing into the season because I don't know what every team is going to be looking like come week one. So we'll have to redo this video, like I said, probably around August time. But with that being said, if you guys did like the video, please do me a favor and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're so close to hitting 700 subscribers. We might even be at it by the time you guys watch this video. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be absolutely awesome. Down below in the comment section, if you guys would like to give me your AFC North predictions, who do you think is going to win the division? Who will come in last place? Which games do you think I got wrong? Which games do you think I got right? Do you guys think I made bad points, good points? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know which AFC division you guys would like to see next. We have the AFC South, the AFC West, and the AFC East. Let me know down in the comments below. Below. Make sure to also follow my social media accounts, which are going to be in the description and obviously on screen for you guys right now as well, including my Twitter, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Twitch. Make sure to go follow me on all those over there, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.